Good evening and welcome to the 2021 Senior Scholarship and Awards Ceremony. We are glad you could be with us for this special event. We also look forward to seeing you on May the 22nd for our live in-person graduation. I am Barry Hollinsworth, principal at Floyd County High School, and tonight we will be awarding several awards, scholarships, and other recognitions to members of the class of 2021. First, we will begin with scholarships. Several students applied for and received scholarships given through the Community Foundation of the New River Valley. Those winners are as follows. The Earl and Mamie Phillips Scholarship Fund awards $3,000 each to David Bauer and Mallory Gardner. The Williamsburg Concert Symphonic Band Scholarship Fund awards $1,000 each to Annalise Britton and Brooke Smith. The Citizens Scholarship Fund awards $1,000 to Kaylee Chafin. The Woodrow and Elma Terman Scholarship Fund awards $920 to Sheena Gallimore. The James E. and Kate H. Board Scholarship Fund awards $1,000 each to Jared Nichols and Joseph Ocampo. The Larry Terman Scholarship Fund awards $1,000 to Caleb Thomas. The Amber Lutz Memorial Scholarship Fund awards $1,000 to Lily Dowd. Now moving on to our Floyd-based scholarships. The Arlie Kenneth Spence Scholarship is pleased to award two $200 scholarships this year. Those winners are Taziana Little and Dakota McDaniel. The Bess R. Poff is awarding five scholarships this year. Those winners are Avery Chafin, Morgan Harris, Emma Cox, Elizabeth Cox, and Serena Keith. The amount will be determined. Brogan Thomas Franklin was a high school English teacher who impacted many lives during his short time on earth. His goal in life was to help make a difference in people's lives. His scholarship fund awards $2,000 yearly to a graduating senior who plans to work in the English writing or teaching field. The winner this year is Olivia Yates. The FCHS Booster Club announces a $1,000 scholarship annually in the memory of Buddy Poff, a former FCHS student athlete. The Buddy Poff Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a graduating senior athlete. This year, they are proud to present the scholarship to Mitchell Thompson. The DJ Keith Memorial Scholarship is given annually in memory of a beloved math teacher who taught many years here at FCHS. His passion for learning and his students left a lasting legacy that continues to impact those today. This year, his $1,000 scholarship goes to Avery Chafin. Hollingsworth and Vos awards annual scholarships to qualifying seniors who plan to attend a four-year school in a program leading to a degree in the technical field such as engineering, electronics, or industrial maintenance. The scholarships are awarded in the memory of Mark Hollingsworth, former CEO of Hollingsworth and Vos. HMV is pleased to award a $1,000 scholarship to Paxton Vest and Noah Pratt. Floyd County Chamber of Commerce, as part of the Floyd County Chamber of Commerce efforts to support our community's youth, the Chamber has awarded annual scholarships for almost 30 years. Chamber members' businesses help raise the funds for the scholarship each year through a silent auction. The Chamber offers two $500 scholarships, one for a four-year college or university student and the other for a trade school or community college student. This year, we are pleased to award a $500 scholarship to Kaylee Chafin and Mitchell Cox. The Floyd County Education Association recognizes the challenges faced by today's teaching professionals and hope to aid these two young ladies as they prepare to begin their professional education in the FCEA is pleased to award a $500 scholarship to Olivia Yates 
and Kaylee Chafin. The Floyd County Farm Bureau is pleased to announce the award of $500 scholarship to Mason Keith and a $1,000 scholarship to Kaylee Chafin. The Floyd County Historical Society announces the winners of the Gerald W. Vi Historical Art Scholarship. This is the sixth year of this scholarship competition, which for the first time is named in the memory of longtime board member Gerald W. Vi. Floyd County High School create, students create works of art based on the topic of the annual exhibit at the museum. The theme this year is based on the 1950s. The works will be on display during the muse museum exhibit beginning in June of 2021. This year the winners are fourth place Annalise Britton $50, third place Jude Jugman $75, second place Carissa Brown $200, and first place Johanna Morrison receiving a $500 scholarship. We thank all the student artists who took time to produce these works of art. The Floyd County Moose Lodge awards $500 to Serena Keith. The Floyd County Women's Club has a $1,000 scholarship for David Bauer. The Floyd County Reteach Retired Teachers honors Kaylee Chafin for $1,000. And the J. Ford Peters Memorial goes to Taya Nunez, $1,000. The Joan M. Sauer Scholarship Fund awards a $1,000 scholarship to Kaylee Chafin and Mallory Gardner. The Lex Lovins Memorial Scholarship Fund awards a $2,000 scholarship to Noah Pratt. The Rotary Club of Floyd County awards $500 scholarship to Mallory Gardner and Mitchell Thompson. A Ruth B. and George T. Huff scholarship in the amount of $6,800 has been awarded to Kaylee Chafin. Thank you to all the awards recipients. Good evening again. My name is Travis Cantrell and I'm the assistant principal here at Floyd County High School. I have two further scholarships that are local uh, that I will present at this time. Uh, these two scholarships are both uh, very important and special to me. Uh, Chance Harmon uh, Memorial Fund and the Joshua Cantrell Memorial Scholarship uh, are both scholarships that are presented annually uh, for two children in our community uh, that passed away from a brain tumor uh, in 2007. Uh, Chance Harmon, the son of Brian and Desiree Harmon, and Joshua Cantrell, my son, uh, and also son of Laura Cantrell. Uh, these two young men were important to our community uh, and we saw a lot of community support throughout the years uh, and that definitely during that time uh, where Coach Harmon and myself and our families uh, spent a great deal of time at Duke Medical Facility uh, getting treatment for both of our sons. And the outpouring support that we received during that time uh, is the reason that both of these scholarships were uh, both presented at annually and also uh, were formed at that time. Um, the Chance Harmon Memorial Scholarship this year will be presented to a special young man who played for Coach Harmon for four years. Mitchell Thompson and the Joshua Cantrell Memorial Scholarship uh, both in the amounts of $3,000. Uh, the $3,000 scholarships for Joshua Cantrell's Memorial Scholarship will be presented to Chloe Booth, Mallory Gardner, Joseph Ocampo, and Mitchell Thompson. Now at this time we will roll into our Academic Department Awards. First with the Math Award the Senior Math Award is given annually to a student who possesses understanding and successful demonstration of multiple math concepts. This student was enrolled in Advanced Placement Calculus this year where she maintained an A average. She attends class each day with a smile, a positive attitude, eager to learn and work on very difficult concepts. All of her classmates may have been virtual, but this didn't discourage her from working hard and striving to do her best. This year's Senior Math Award goes to Mallory Gardner. The student selected for the award in English achievement is Kyle Hubbard. Throughout this semester in British literature, Kyle has exhibited a genuine interest and curiosity to learn about the literature read for class. His writing is thoughtful, skillful, and shows evidence of deep thinking. 
Kyle's natural love for learning has been evident in every single class period and he has helped to make his class a place of deep learning for everyone. Kyle is the type of learner who gives others the space to feel comfortable expressing themselves and their ideas. He is a wonderful contributor to partner and group projects. He has given presentations that help us all think differently and deeply about the content. And his pleasant demeanor and open mind have helped to make his British literature class a productive and joyful experience for everyone. The Social Studies Award, ranging from world geography to United States history, the FCHS Social Studies Department introduces students to cultural, economic, governmental, and historical trends across the United States and the world. No student embodies the spirit of curiosity and the aptitude necessary to succeed at the highest level in all these classes quite like Brooke Smith. Brooke has used the lessons and information she has gained in her social studies courses and applied them to understanding the world in which she lives. Brooke has excelled in all social studies classes and has soared beyond all expectations in her application and appreciation of historical concepts. She competed two years on the History Mac team where she broadened her understanding of U.S. and world events. Finally, Brooke has applied her understanding of social studies and leadership roles within the SCA, serving as the student body secretary. Best of luck in your continued learning journey. The Science Award. The student had Chemistry 1 during the spring of 2020, so he did not get the entire second half of chemistry. However, he took Chemistry 2 a year later and did an amazing job. His lab reports, annotated bibliographies, and other assignments have been top notch. And when asked to do presentations, he went above and beyond and explained some topics so well that it inspired me, or Ms. Sharpnot in this case, to teach certain topics in a different way in the future. Congratulations to this year's Senior Science Award winner, Jared Nichols. Next is our World Languages Award. Each year we recognize seniors who have distinguished themselves in their study of world languages usually one for French and one for Spanish. The recipient of this year's French award is Carissa Brown. Carissa has excelled in her French studies in high school and this year is a candidate for introduction or induction into the French National Honor Society. The recipient of this year's Spanish award is Mallory Gardner. Mallory has demonstrated a particular aptitude in language study and acquisition through Spanish 5. Mallory is an ideal student the kind who not only welcomes an extensive feedback, but one who also makes immediate use of that feedback. Mallory is a candidate for the induction into the Spanish National Honor Society. Perhaps most significant is how Mallory delights in solidifying her, her education by embracing the real world as her classroom. By intentionally engaging with native Spanish speakers within the school and local community, Mallory builds bridges with others, forging empathy and understanding. We would like to congratulate Mallory as she will, no doubt, use her talents, her gifts, and her true heart for connecting with and serving others, amplifying her positive influence locally, regionally, and one day internationally. The next award is our Theater Award. The Theater Department would like to recognize two students this year, Paul Addison and Emily Goodwin. Paul has taken theater many times over the years and won awards for his roles in our various productions. He's a fantastic actor, and the theater won't be the same without him around. Emmy brought the heat this year with their role in, in our one-act competition and their compassion and camaraderie in our daily classes. Their presence will be greatly missed. Uh, the next award is our Art Award. The Art Department features a variety of ways for students to express themselves and their talents through various forms of art. We are pleased to present the following awards to these talented seniors. Johanna Morrison and Serena Keith for, for three-dimensional work in sculpture and pottery. Mary Burnett for composition and design. Dakota McDaniel for illustration and composition. Rhiannon Cadez for virtual independent drawing. And Carissa Brown for painting and design. Health and PE is next. The Physical Education Department would like to recognize Mallory Gardner and Avery Chafin as the recipients of the 2021 Senior Award for Physical Education. Mallory and Avery have shown sportsmanship, determination, as well as kindness to those around them during their high school career. 
They have consistently worked towards goals that will help them be successful in their future endeavors. The Physical Education Department is pleased to announce that we are presenting Mallory and Avery with a financial gift to assist in furthering their education. The last award I will be presenting this evening is the Athletic Award. Each year our Athletic Department recognizes two seniors, one boy and one girl, who have excelled in their particular sport or sports and in athletics overall. The winners this year are Alexis Kaiser and Tanyan Sutphin. Good evening. I am Brittany Quesenberry and this evening I will be giving out the Career and Technical Education Awards. First of all, I'd just like to say how proud we are of the senior class for everything that they've accomplished during these unprecedented times. To start out with our awards, I'll be giving the Accounting Award. The Accounting Award goes to a senior who has excelled in the area of accounting by demonstrating a working knowledge of accounting principles and the accounting cycle. This year's candidate has successfully completed Accounting 1 and Advanced Accounting. This student's commitment to excellence is evident in everything he does. Please join me in recognizing Silas Jepson as the 2021 FCH S Accounting Award recipient. The next award is the Business Award. Studying business prepares individuals for success in any industry they wish to specialize in. This year's recipient has taken a broad range of business-related classes, such as Principles of Business and Marketing, Accounting One, Computer Information Systems, and Computer Solutions. This student has shown great leadership through the many activities that they have participated in throughout their high school career while maintaining an excellent academic record. Please join me in recognizing the 2021 FCHS Business Award recipient, Alexis Kaiser. The next award is the Digital Applications Award. This recognizes a senior who has excelled in business and information technology with a concentration in computer information systems. This year's award goes to two students who have successfully tested for and received the Microsoft Office Specialist Industry Certifications in Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. However, each of these students did not stop there. Serena Keith studied independently and received certification in Microsoft Word Expert. Morgan Smith also studied independently and received his Microsoft Technology Associate Certification in Cloud Fundamentals. Please join me in recognizing Serena Keith and Morgan Smith as the 2021 FCHS Digital Applications Award winners. The next award is a new award to us. This is the Computer Science Award. This year's recipient is an outstanding student with a passion for programming. They have shown their attention to detail and creativity in class through the creation of games and other programs, and those skills will carry them to success in a program science in a program in computer science. This student plans to study computer science at ODU after high school and start their own gaming company. This year's recipient is Emily Goodwin. Building Trades is our next award. It is presented each year to a select senior who has completed the two semester program and demonstrated the ability to show good work ethic, leadership skills, consistency, and the ability to perform tasks that will make them an asset to society and possibly lead them into a future in the construction industry. This year, I'm proud to present the award to Aiden Taylor. The Welding Award this year will be going to three students. These students have completed Junior Welding and Senior Welding Part 1 and Part 2. They've completed the American Welding Society's SENSE program, passing all nine written exams and several National Welder Qualification Skills Test. As many in the past can say, this is no easy task. It takes patience, motivation, and a high level of skill. This accomplishment opens many doors in the welding industry that could lead to a very successful career. The award this year goes to Avery Chafin, Logan Griffith, and Morgan Reed. The Auto Award. This goes to a student who has worked hard in the shop, in the classroom, and online. He earned an ASE credential and has demonstrated the ability to work alone or in a group setting. This year's award goes to Avery Chafin. The Nurse Aid 2 awards are given to the students who have demonstrated outstanding skills in the classroom, the lab, and in a clinical setting. These students have completed the Nurse Aid program, which includes a minimum of 80 classroom hours and 40 clinical hours. 
This year has presented several challenges for obtaining clinical hours due to the COVID-19 restrictions. There are some students still awaiting clinical hours, but I'm sure the future will open this opportunity up for them. Some students who had already turned 18 were able to complete and become employed and obtain the 40 clinical hours. These students will be taking their certified nursing assistance exam administered by the Virginia Board of Nursing this June. I'm proud of each of these students for their accomplishments. They have exhibited compassion, empathy, and above all, a true desire to better another person's life. Each of these students plan on furthering their education and pursuing multiple healthcare careers in the future. This year, we would like to recognize Kaylee Chafin, Elizabeth Cox, Emma Cox, Danielle DeRemer, Madison Flincham, Sheena Gallimore, Eliana Garcia, Aaliyah Gray, Peyton Grimm, Ashley Hall, Angela Huff, Lillian Light, and Harmony Pratt. Sports Medicine is an award that goes to a senior that has excelled by demonstrating a working knowledge of the basics of exercise science, human movement science, health and human performance, bioenergetics, human movement assessment, and nutrition. This year's candidate has successfully completed Sports Medicine 1 and Sports Medicine 2. This student's commitment to excellence is noted in their academic excellence with a 3.5 GPA or higher and securing their National Academy of Sports Medicine certified personal trainer. Please join me in recognizing Carissa Brown, Jared Nichols, Mitchell Thompson and Olivia Yates as the 2021 FCHS Sports Medicine Award recipients. The Health and Medical Sciences Award goes to a senior who has excelled by demonstrating a work and knowledge of the basics of anatomy and physiology, pharmacology, and medical terminology. This year's candidate has successfully completed Introduction to Health and Medical Science and Dual Enrollment Medical Terminology. This student's commitment to excellence is noted in their academic excellence with a 3.5 GPA or higher. Please join me in recognizing Chloe Booth, Sheena Gallimore, Ashley Hall, Kaylee Chafin, and Harmony Pratt as the 2021 FCHS Health and Medical Sciences Award recipient. The Culinary Award. This is the Cutting Edge Award, and it is given annually to the student who demonstrates a passion for the field of culinary arts. Each student, each year, a student that performs well in the classroom, along with demonstrating a strong skill set in the kitchen, receives it. This year, the award goes to someone who fulfills all of these qualities. She understands the basics, hot food hot, cold food cold. She has spent three years of her high school career enrolled in the program and has taught her the fundamentals such as sauteing, grilling, roasting, grade manager, baking, knife skills, but most importantly, how to put out fires. It is now her job to perfect these skills, broaden her knowledge, experiment, but most of all, be fearless and learn from her mistakes. I could go on all evening and tell you how amazing this young lady is, but she shines all on her own. This young lady knows this art is calling her already by working in the industry. Congratulations, Danielle Huff. The senior class president is voted on and elected by the senior class. Due to the many restrictions this year due to COVID, class gatherings were obviously more limited than in the past. In spite of everything, this year's president still dedicated her time and talents to serve her classmates whenever possible. In appreciation of all of her hard work, we would like to present to Mary Catherine Burnett an engraved gavel to honor her services to the class of 2021. Thank you, Mary. The Citizenship Award, one of our highest honors, is given annually to two graduating seniors. Chosen by the faculty, those two students must have demonstrated superior traits of respect, citizenship, and kindness to both their teachers and to their peers. They have been noted as being a role model for younger students to look up to. We would like to present this year's Citizenships Award to Mallory Gardner and Joseph Ocampo. Our final award 
of the evening is, to, is the DJ and Janet Keith General Excellence Award. Previously known as the O.T. Wright Award, this award has been given each year since the high school's first graduating class in 1963. It is considered to be the highest honor given at Floyd County High School. Originally, this award honored the father of Ms. Roberta Wright, an FCHS social studies teacher. In 2017, the award was renamed in the honor of the late D.J. Keith, a passionate and legendary math teacher who educated many students on both mathematics and life lessons in room 314. Along with his wife, Miss Janet Keith, a longtime English teacher here at FCHS, those two special people have influenced countless students during their time at FCHS. The recipient, recipient of this year's award is voted on by the faculty of FCHS. This student shows excellence in all areas, including academics, character, and integrity. We are pleased to award this year's DJ and Janet Keith Award our highest honor to Mallory Gardner. And in conclusion, on behalf of the faculty and staff at FCHS, I would like to congratulate all recipients. Thank you.